Andrew, and this is another episode of the Game On Sports Cast. We will be talking about the Knicks win over the Nets. Yay! And Randall was practicing out there for the Knicks. Yeah, he didn't play because it looked like he did not like the way how he felt when he was Aww. practicing. So OG and Mitch, OG Aranobi and Mitchell Robinson were also not there for the Knicks. Keon Johnson was out for the Nets, so Nets had a little bit of a better lineup in some ways than us. And the Knicks have won the Nets four straight times. Yay! That gave us a big boost of confidence. And the Knicks have the biggest, the best rebound percentage in the league. It was Kids Day at the Garden, so they had a ten-year-old DJ playing the DJ and was really good. So the Nets lineup was Dennis Schroeder, Cam Thompson, Claxton, Cam Johnson, and Macau Bridges. The Knicks lineup was Josh Hart, Miles McBride, Jalen Brunson, Hartenstein, and DiVincenzo. So it was a little bit of a change, but since D, uh, Deuce McBride has done really well for like the past few games, so we wanted to give him a starting position. In the last 21 games, Josh Hart has had five triple doubles. Yay! That's really good. The Knicks and the Nets came out strong. The Knicks had four straight three-pointers, but the Nets kept hitting shots from the mid-range, so they were keeping it close. At a timeout, it was 20-17 to 17 with the Knicks winning. The, st- uh, the Knicks kept passing it to Burks, yet he kept missing because oh. he shoots a lot of threes that I think he knows he can't make, but he just tries to make them. I, I, I don't know why. Uh, the Knicks and the Nets went back and forth many times, and at the end of the first, it was 28-30 to 30 with the Nets winning. We kept passing it to to Burks again, and he kept missing. But then, Miles, but then he finally hit a three, and Miles McBride started doing really well. Yay! He was he was our leading sco- scorer up to there. The score was thirty three to thirty four with the Nets winning. Very close. That was at a timeout. The Knicks came out strong. We were hitting three. We were hitting. We were hitting threes well and passing the ball. Yay! And that's timeout because they called it quickly since they saw that we had momentum. It was 43 to 38 with the Knicks winning. Um, at a timeout, they had an, a kids slam dunk contest. They were dunking really well. The Knicks and the Nets went back and forth again. With four seconds left in the quarter, DiVincenzo hit a layup to put us in the lead. But then, from beyond half court, Macau Bridges throws one up, and it goes in. What? So at halftime, it was 57-56 to with the Nets winning in a very close game. The Knicks and the Nets came out strong. We were hitting shots and playing good defense. The Nets were shooting threes well as well. At a timeout, the Knicks were losing 66-70. to Um, the Knicks could not miss out of the timeout. Yay! We hit many threes in a row, and the Nets could not stop us. It was looking like every, everybody on the Knicks could hit threes the whole entire game. At a timeout from the Nets, it was 76-74 to with the Knicks winning. Um, the Knicks kept it going in the paint and kept scoring. The Nets hit a buzzer beater three again. Oh no! At the end of the third, and it was eighty to seventy-seven with the Knicks winning. They were hitting a lot of buzzer beaters. DiVincenzo had seven points straight, and the, made the Nets call a timeout quickly, eighty-seven to eighty with the Knicks winning at the timeout. DiVincenzo had twenty-five points so far, and McBride had twenty-three. Yeah, they were unstoppable. The Knicks were hitting shots from everywhere and stealing the ball. And the Nets just couldn't play defense anymore. 
against us. McBride, Hartenstein, Hart, and DiVincenzo were on fire. We got to sit Brunson down for a long time, all the way till the end of the game, because we really didn't need him. Um, at a timeout from the Nets, it was 99-84 to 84 with the Knicks winning. The Knicks were playing great defense, and DiVincenzo did a fast break dunk that made the crowd go wild. We were winning 104 to 86, with, and we kept that going. We brought in the players that usually don't play, but we were winning by so much that we put them in. And then at the end of the game, it was 105 to 93 with the Knicks winning. Yay! That's the game on Sportscast for today. Check out the other videos on the. ALMS website.